All right, and joining us more for more conversation on this, we are joined by spokeswoman for the Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, Tal Heinrich. Tal, good morning. Thank you so much for joining us today. Um, there are growing calls for Netanyahu to resign. We have seen protests outside the Kiryat from members of family members who say that he is responsible for what happened. So how is the Prime Minister reacting to this? We're not talking about politics right now. Uh, all we are focused on is one thing and one thing alone, to win this war and to dismantle Hamas. By the end of this, Sarah, we will make sure that Hamas has neither the military capabilities nor the motivation to hurt us as they did on the October 7th massacre. We are aching. We're a nation in deep mourning right now, but we are also very determined to deal Hamas such a major blow that they will never forget. Let me ask you this. The United States... We only have 11 aircraft carriers, but we sent two of them uh, to assist with Israel. There's still Americans missing. Um, we know that as well. But although we're not expecting U.S. troops to be needed on the ground, how much of a role do you expect the United States to play? Well, we are very grateful for the, from, for the support that we have been receiving from the United States. Um, if it's a sweeping bipartisan support that we see from the U.S. Congress, from the White House, obviously, uh, Secretary Blinken was here, Secretary Austin was here. Uh, they both spoke about this time as time for moral clarity. Uh, they also talked about the atrocities that they have heard about. Sometimes, uh, in certain cases, they have seen them because we have photos of them and they also talked to people on the ground and heard the testimonies. Um, what tr transpired here is really the most horrific massacre, the most horrific atrocity against the Jewish people since the Holocaust. Mm -hmm. So we are very grateful for any kind of uh, support that we are receiving. Israel is right now on the front lines of the war against terrorism. Uh, Secretary Austin said that he knows ISIS, and what he's seen here is worse than ISIS. And he's right. It is indeed worse. The counteroffensive that we launched will reach its goal. We will dismantle Hamas. Yet it is horrific, the sights that we have seen there, Tal. You're completely right. But I want you to talk to us about the unity government. What will the roles of Benny Gantz and Avigdor Lieberman be? Well, again, I'm not here to talk politics. What I can tell you, Sarah, is that the unity government is reflective of the public sentiment that we're seeing here in Israel. If it's in the IDF on the front lines, but also the home command, uh, the solidarity here is incredible. And our enemies were mistaken because they thought that maybe because of the political differences between us. And we've had some very fierce public debates, and I know that Newsmax has been covering these debates over the past uh, months. But we are stronger and united than ever, and everyone in this country either knows someone who is a reservist in the IDF or on duty right now, or someone who was killed, someone who was abducted, someone who is injured, so we're all, all in this together right now, and the solidarity that you see among, among the Israeli people is uh, something incredible. It's really heartwarming. Yeah. And also, one more thing that I want to say to the, uh, your American viewers, everything, so many people are asking us, how can we help? So everything that you're doing, if it's with prayers, all kinds of prayers, uh, from every religion, if it's with donations, if, if it's on social media by countering Palestinian propaganda, it's being felt and it's, just, it's trickling down. It's being felt on the ground. We are very grateful for it. Tal Heinrich, thank you so much. We're grateful to have you on this morning as well.